What's going on, folks? So, I'm starting to um, think about getting back into doing pest control um, off the record on the side to help people that, you know, can't afford to pay whatever X amount of dollars for, uh, you know, um, a flea job or bed bugs or whatever. And I can help people on the internet pretty easily by getting them the stuff or them getting the stuff and me just explaining um, and walking them through it. I've, I, my friend was telling me that I, I should have started doing this a long time ago. He's like, dude, you can make a lot of money, you know, with, you know, what you know and stuff. And I go, yeah, but I just don't want to do it in a huge wreck. And one, I, I, I don't want to be on the radar. You know what I mean? I, uh, ran a bed bug business in uh, Buffalo for a long time before they fucking arrested me. And, uh, the reason why I didn't get in, in trouble is because I did good work. You know, I got in an argument with some guy and somebody turned, I pretty much know who turned me in, but, um, this, this isn't what the fucking story's about. Let me just skip ahead. Anyways, if you do good work, you don't have much to, you don't have much to, uh, you know, you know, you don't have, you don't have much to worry about. So, uh, and that's the one thing that I pride myself on is this has always been a career for me. I, this has always been something that, this is what I do. Like customers will stop me and go, man, you do such a great job inside my house. How come, you, how come the other guys don't do that? And I go, well, I can only speak for myself. You know what I mean? I enjoy, I enjoy what I do when I get up in the morning. I don't feel, uh, I don't feel, uh, you know, um, I don't feel like I'm doing stuff that I don't want to do. That kid just ran out in front of a car. Um, I don't feel like I'm uh, going to work. You know, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy it wholeheartedly. I love what I do, you know. So, but I like helping people. And so yesterday I was helping a friend who just wanted a basic, just spray these empty units. You know, people come down and just rent them out for two weeks or a month in the, in the you know, in the winter time that's coming to a close. So just, can you give this a good, uh, you know, once over, and I, you know, hooked him up, um, the guy at the gym's gonna let me, um, come out to his house, and we're gonna work something out with my membership, or whatever, and, uh, you know, but, um, you know, I just haven't done it before, because I just don't get anything out of the financial aspect of it, I get more out of helping people for free, right now, I, the only reason why I'm doing this now is because I get contacted all the time on Messenger for, for stuff about bed bugs from even from Buffalo. I don't know how people find me still, you know, but, uh, you know, people contact me or they just know me from a friend or refer me or whatever, or they found me on the internet and they just know or whatever. And I pride myself on giving people real information and, and not selling you shit. I don't ever sell anything to anybody. Anything that I'm doing for you is stuff that you need. You know, it's not, and, and it's the best level and what you can afford and it's going to get rid of the problem and that's it. You know, we're not going to overhype and oversell stuff, but, uh, I walked into a guy, guy across the street's like, Hey man, can you, uh, can you come spray my house real quick? And I go, but I'm not really trying to, you know, start doing a bunch of roach jobs over here for, you know, he didn't offer me any money, which was fine. If I didn't want to go, I wouldn't have went. I took a walk, I took a walk over with him to the house. Okay. Um, I walked in the house and it's been a while since I've been able to say this. Okay. I walked in the house. Um, the stench hit me immediately and almost made me fucking projectile vomit. And I've done it before in people's houses. I've thrown up right in front of them. I walked to the kitchen and the, the heat was on too. I walked in the kitchen, I just hear flies buzzing, and I feel like all of a sudden I'm on fucking mushrooms or peyote, and I can feel myself fucking slipping in and out, like I'm getting dizzy now, you know, like fucking Tony Soprano when he was having fainting episodes, and I just, there's, where the sink is, I'm talking four feet all the way up to the, to the, almost to the ceiling, dishes, flies, fruit flies, maggots, larva, and I go, guys, um, it smells like, you know, and I literally said, it smells like the litter box is over fucking turned in here or something. I'm trying to be polite, okay, in Texas Chainsaw situation, you know, like I'm trying, I'm like in fucking Silence of the Lambs, okay, and I, I'm not trying to be rude to, you, you know, you don't ever want to be unprofessional and, you know, well, it was from the woman who can't walk too far, she shits in her bedpan and just her son fucking does what he does or whatever. I don't know their whole situation. I'm not judging them. I feel bad for them. 
But I, I said, I can't do this like this. So I walk outside, he's in the garage. I said, man, I would need a cartridge. Um, I would need a cartridge respirator to, to even be able to stand in that house, you know? And he goes and he goes and fucking hands me one. And I go, I'm being facetious, dude. I go, you guys got to make some improvements over there. It smells like shit so strongly. I don't even know how you guys can stand it. You know, and he's eating a, he's eating a sandwich out in the shed. And then he starts telling me the problems that they're having. And, you know, the, she can only walk about 10 or 15 feet. You know, this, that, and the other thing. Which, it, it's, you know, whatever. You know. And, uh, you know, I said, listen. If you go out, if you go and you clean this house up and you get this shit together, I'll spray it for free. I'll spray it twice for free. Okay? I'll hook you up. So, I'd have people call me in New York. My phone number was 716-717-7102. And, and a girl would just say, and, and, and it's happened a couple times. Hey, I got bed bugs, yada, yada, yada. And I say, well, how many rooms do you got? You know, and she's like, I got two or this, that, and the other. But she's like, here's the thing. I, uh, you know, I'm by myself. I've got two kids. I've got another one on the way. And I really can't afford much. And I go, all right, well... Let me look at let me look at your situation first before we make any kind of uh, before I can tell you. You know, I want to make sure I'm not going over there and you're selling fucking uh, pills or fucking weed or whatever out of the fucking back door and it's some trap house. You know what I mean? And you got an Escalade and you're on food stamps because I've seen that a thousand times too. And uh, you know, go over there. You know, they've been living there. You know, not long. It doesn't look like, but go over there and uh, hook them up. You know, and uh, just tell them, you, you got a baby, here's what you need to do. You need to be really particular about spraying around cribs and stuff like that. And, you know, um, putting chemicals around where kids are and all of that stuff. And, uh, you know, I got a friend that just had puppies. And I'm like, well, you got to spray that shed back there. You got to take those dogs out. It doesn't have to be today. But they're going to end up, them dogs are going to end up, them, that shit's ending up in your dog food. She put a couple boxes in her garage. And she's like, what the fuck? And she, you know, she went to the store just like everybody does. And it's like, when you get German roaches, when you get German roaches, um, you know, you got them for good. Shit, I, I know exterminators that can barely get rid of them. But, uh, yeah, I just said, you know what, I'm just going to start helping. I'm just going to start helping people. You know, my rents went up. Um, I had to pay a red light ticket, which I didn't wasn't paying attention when I ran it, or I probably wouldn't have ran it. <laughs> um, cat food is going up. And, uh, you know, I just keep taking more and more cats on. And, uh, you know, don't get me wrong. I'll eat fucking bananas all week. I don't care, you know. As long as I can pay my gym membership and keep my house afloat, that's all I really care about. I'm not looking to. But I I, uh, I said, you know, you need to you need to start putting yourself out there a little bit more. You know, I just, I'm just not into it. You know what I mean? Like, I've made money. I've been successful. It doesn't do anything for me. But I guess giving people a good deal and being honest with people when nobody really wants to be honest with them. And I, I, I got a pretty good area of, uh, I got a pretty good um, network of people that I just don't use. And uh, I, I told the gym guy last night, he's like, I want you to come out to the house. He's like, my wife's not going to want you to come out because I just ripped up the carpet in the living room and we're putting tile down. And I go, oh yeah, I can tell you guys are uh, slobs. You know, are you walking to houses where, um, you know, you walk into houses where, yeah, you know, I went to some ghetto ass place yesterday, you know, and I'll tell you, I was surprised at how many people's houses were clean and how many people's houses I walked in and, um, you know, I'm getting to the point in life where I've fucking, I've seen enough, you know what I mean? Stuff. I've seen enough of it. You know what I mean? I've seen enough. I don't need to accrue any more fucking damage from, uh, but people are getting more and more damaged. You know, people are living more and more damaged, you know? And, uh, you know, you start looking at um, whatever the excuse is, you know. I was telling a girl yesterday, she's like, I just want to move out of here. I can't believe that I got bugs like this and da-da-da-da-da-da. And I go, sweetie, you live, in, you live in America. You keep calling the office when I show up. I'll check in. If you give me permission, I'll check in with you. Um, I don't care where you're from. They're probably here illegally. I don't care. You know, you got kids, you clean your house, you're doing the right thing. I'll take care of your pest control. I don't even want you buying shit at the store, you know. But uh, you just see things. Like, I see that woman. You know? And I don't want that life for anybody. Do you know what I mean? 
I don't want my my life that I lived for anybody, you know? I see people's lives and I just go, man, I don't want this shit for anybody, you know? And and it, it can be anything from sexual abuse to addiction and, you know, they all follow suit. And I just look at, man, I don't know how, I don't know how people live without God. I'll just be honest with you. I don't know how people live without God. I really don't. I was listening to a Kiss interview last night and Paul Stanley, I'm not that, I don't know, it was just random shit that I listen to when I'm falling asleep. I overslept today. And, uh... Paul Stanley was on there, you know, and this guy was like, like, I got so much strength from you, Paul Stanley, from your song Forever. Man, you better not worry about the fucking song Forever. You need to worry about Forever. Fucking Paul Stanley. I'm just saying, like, what people get strength from, you gotta be out of your mind. 